Hi guys, it's Alina. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome. My name is Alina and this is my YouTube channel. I do makeup videos, vlogs, honestly, whatever I feel like. Today, I really wanted to do this video. Um, I saw Raw Beauty Christy. I never know if I'm saying that right. Um, I'll put her link on the screen right now. She's an amazing YouTuber. Probably one of my favorite YouTubers at the moment. Um, I just think she's so real and beautiful and funny. And she did this video where this girl, Snitchery, which is another YouTuber, um, shows you how to make your lips look like, you know, those Brat Store lips. Um, she has incredible lips already, but um, she shows you how to really like, kind of like, almost like plastic surgery on your lips, like make them look a lot bigger than they actually are using like optical illusions and just it's just a bunch of um, illusions like with makeup and that kind of thing and I feel like I just find that so cool it's literally like art just a side note I have not finished my makeup I have no highlighter on or nothing like that um, I'm currently in the middle of filming a video reviewing the conspiracy palette which is this beautiful baby here by Shane Dawson um, and I just did this look on my eyes so I'm halfway in between filming that one. I thought I would do my lips the way that Snitchery does them and run through it with you guys and see if this really works because I'm super interested in it. So let's get started. So I'm just going to play this video on my phone. Um, I've already watched it once now and I watched um, Raw Christy Beauty try it. I don't know if it's Raw Christy Beauty or Christy... I don't know. By the way, it is pouring down rain right now, which is amazing. I live in Australia and we are going through the most horrible drought, fires and that kind of thing. So it's like incredible to listen to and um, I'm super happy about that but I'm sorry if you can hear it in the background. Hey guys what is up it is Snitchery how are you doing? Today we're doing something fun or fun to me at least. You guys know that I'm not typically a makeup <laughs> tutorial person even though I mostly do makeup on the internet it's just not really my jam. There's so many amazing made YouTube makeup artists on YouTube tutorials. I've just never really felt like there's that much for me to like add to the conversation but I was lying about this morning and I was so inspired to film makeup content and I was just racking my brain for something that I could do and then I realized that I get requests for this tutorial constantly every single day in my DMs and I've always just shrugged it off because I thought it would be kind of a short uninteresting video I was like oh I'll do it on Instagram one day to show people but in fact I think there's a lot of context that goes into this little tutorial and a lot I have to explain for the reasons behind why this works and as the title implies today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get my signature lips so a lot of people ask her lips look amazing. Like, I know they're big, but um, I think she says she doesn't have plastic Ask surgery. I've had lip injections. Yeah. No, Sorry. I have not had lip injections. My lips are natural, but my lips also don't look She's like this beautiful. without makeup. This technique is a combination of overlining and underlining, actually. There's a lot of underlining that goes on. There's a lot of playing with shadows and illusions, but it's also extremely easy. It doesn't involve many steps, and the steps that it does involve are things that literally anybody could do. Like, somebody who's never picked up a makeup brush could still do this. Before Hopefully. we get into that, if you've never seen my face before and you're ever interested in seeing my face again, feel free to subscribe down below. I'd I love to have yours on this little video subscribe, journey, right? and I'd love to Done. make more videos like subscribe. this. So okay, so she gives a timestamp where to fast forward to, um, so I'm just going to do that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to start overlining my lips. But what I'm going to do is start at the corner and make it really dark on the corner, and then come up a little bit, I'm not drawing yet, but come up a little bit higher here. I'm gonna get a pen. As you can see, this is like my favorite lip liner. It is the MAC Lip Pencil in Oak. My favorite shade ever. Do you see already, between this side and this side, my lips naturally kind of go like this. They sort of slope on the top and bottom. You can see they're almost pointy. They're not rounded. So even though they're large, really they don't pointy. look as full as I'd like them to look. Already, this side versus this side, this looks significantly fuller, more defined. My lip color is also very similar to my skin tone compared to a lot of people on their lips. So having a defined edge already helps it look a little bit larger. Go ahead and do that to the other side. Okay. I'm going to start. Like, I'm someone that already overdraws, so this is interesting to me. Let me just get off the lip gloss because it's sliding. Okay. I'm also going to go ahead and take the pencil and go a little bit outside my lip line, actually, right at the corner. Ooh. Okay, let me just do that other side. Whoa, 
Okay, so I kind of like traced like the border of mine, but a little bit outside of that. Already it's kind of flipped my lip up, which I like. See how that already gave me like a significant lift? I think a lot of people have the misconception that they overline their lips on the top, which can work for a lot of lip shapes, but for some lip shapes, that's not where you need the fullness. For me, I need more of the fullness on the side. Now, if you think it's looking crazy, especially when I talk, it absolutely is, and that's because thus far, we've only overlined our lip. I'm gonna go ahead and do the bottom as well. Hold on, I'm not done yet. Whoa, already, my lips look huge, what the fuck? And again, I'm gonna focus on the outer corner. See how bringing that lip shape down, it looks so much bigger. Pick a lip pencil that's a little bit darker. Right, okay. I feel stupid because I don't like like this right here. It makes it look really like messy. But I do know that she's about to cut it because I've seen this before. But if you don't know what I'm talking about, just keep watching. Now our lips just look puffy. They don't look that attractive to me at least. If you like this look, go off with your bad self. But this is not, this is not my moment. This is not my preferred lip shape. I'm sure it works for some people, but it's not my jam. So what I'm gonna do before cleaning it up altogether is I'm gonna go ahead and take just a tiny brush and my bronzer. I'm gonna take it on that brush and I'm just gonna go like this. Okay. I've already actually done that, but I will do it again. I love that little trick. I'm just gonna take my little e.l.f. Um, contour and I'm just gonna take that contour shade. And this does really work. Like, I mean, I'll let her talk, I'll tell you. Add a little shadow underneath your lip. Do you see what that did? It's subtle, but it makes a difference. It makes your lip look heavier in the middle, which makes your lip look fuller. Next, I'm gonna go into the underlining step. Now for this, you kind of have two choices. I prefer to use my actual foundation shade because I want it to look a bit more natural, but if you are working with a little less lip naturally, then you can go in with a concealer shade or a foundation shade that's just a little bit lighter than your natural lips. Make sure you blend it in really well, but that is an option if you want to add even more fullness. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take my ABH foundation. I'm gonna take it and just just go like this and come into the corner of my mouth. See over here versus over here? And just draw it down. See how even though we underlined a little bit on this side, it actually- Okay, let me get my foundation. I look crazy, but the foundation I'm gonna use today is the uh, Maybelline mm, Dewy and Smooth. Um, it actually is the one I've got on my face mixed with the Clinique Beyond Perfecting. That's like my favorite little combo. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna use this one and we'll do that little Thing she's talking about. So she kind of. I've been so excited to do this ever since I watched it. <laughs> I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> Did you say bless you? <laughs> also, significantly less ridiculous. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the same to the other side. Do you see? Okay, I'm just gonna do that real quick. She has a different brush to me. I don't know why I got this brush. I actually do have the brush she's got on. See how that makes it look like our lip is just like popping out, but it's not in an unnatural way. It just looks like it has significantly more volume in comparison to what my lips looked like before. It it's almost like a, sure. a breast lift for your lips. I'm gonna go ahead and on the top, and what I'm trying to do here is just mimic that circular shape and also fix up here. Thank God. 
Whoa, I don't remember this bit. And again, not taking too much off the sides of the top lip. Okay, so she's gonna cut up there as well. Okay. Whoa, this is really cool. Because she's doing like way more than me. I feel like I need to add like a bit more pencil because I haven't like rounded those edges out like she has. And she kind of rounds. I've always been someone who kind of like completely follows the cupid's bow but I like the way her lips look. And this is why I say anybody can do this lip shape because regardless of your lip shape, shortening how wide your lips are is always going to make them look taller on the top. Especially. It definitely does. Okay, let me just finish this off. But if you look at a Bratz doll, it actually has like kind of a ridiculous lip shape. It's all very much packed in the center. I'm not really used to like the cutoff here, but like I can tell exactly what she means by like it not completely joining your lip. And it does make it really perfect. tall. Next, I'm going to take that same liner and darken up the corners. This is also gonna create the illusion of a poutier lip because it's gonna be lighter in the center. Next, I'm gonna go in with a lip balm. I think a lot of people at this step would use a lip gloss. I'm more of a balm girl myself. This is gonna give your lips a sheen, which is gonna make it look even bigger, but it's also gonna sort of disguise all that liner work. Okay, let me, let me just. Oh my, I look crazy, okay, balm. Okay, I'm gonna go in with a gloss. I have a few. I don't know if I should do like the Fenty or the L or the NYX one. I feel like this one. This is the ELF Lip Plumping Gloss in Peach Bellini. I kind of like how she completely missed like the middle. Like just using the kind of shade of your lip to do the work. Okay. It just kind of all blends together. Now this, this is, is almost like, goodness. catfishing. This, this is, is sort of the natural version of that grass doll look. You can of course add liquid lipstick or any lipstick you want. Add a shimmery gloss, you can add concealer into the middle of your lips. But if you want to stop here, you've now successfully achieved sort of a lip injection grass doll pouty look for free. I literally feel like I'm pouting, but I'm not. It feels like I'm going. Let me go ahead and put on some matte liquid lipstick before we get into the very unfortunate of this video talking about the last video I uploaded. Oh, she's gonna add some more. All right, so I just went and added some highlighter and that kind of thing, but I couldn't believe I actually didn't have highlighter on my face. Like, what the hell? This is what I mean, when I go away on holidays, I literally forget how to wear makeup, then I come back and I'm just like, what is makeup? Anyway, I just added some Sunday Fun Day by Too Faced in the middle of my lips. It's just a lipstick. It's a beautiful, amazing shade. Um, I love their lipstick formulas. Oh, what do you guys think? I feel like it's definitely um, improved the size of my lips. I feel like I look crazy, but I don't know if I'm just trying to like get used to it. I think it worked. What do you guys think? I'm going to do a little um, before and after of my lips, and you can tell me what you think in the comments down below. While you're here, don't forget to check out the review I did on the Conspiracy Palette by Shane Dawson. It is the look that I have on my eyes today. Um, I created it with this palette and this palette only, and I'm in love. I also you just use the highlighter. Not the highlighter. I use the shade in here, Ranch, to do my nose highlight. So, you know, I love a palette that can do many things, so there you go. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Please give this video a thumbs up if you did. Um, share it with your friends, family, whatever, someone that you think would like this video. Subscribe, obviously, and yeah, I will see you in my next video. I love you. Bye.